So in this lesson, we're gonna start talking about some AngularJS filters. And filters are super useful because they allow you to do a lot of powerful stuff in Angular, like filtering arrays and modifying strings in certain ways really easily and without writing a lot of code. The most basic filter is going to be a string filter and Angular actually has some built-in ones for you. I'm gonna show you how to use one. So it's very simple. So here we're just gonna create an input tied to a model and we'll say, my filter dot string. And then we're going to interpolate my filter dot string. And then the actual filter is accomplished with the pipe operator. So you're gonna do the data you want to filter followed by the pipe. And then the filter name, which the built-in ones, one of them is uppercase. If we try this, if we type in lowercase Jake, it will be uppercased. We see that the filter is just leaving everything else alone. This is very simple and it's built in. So we have access to a whole bunch of these. There's uppercase, there's lowercase that are easy to use and we can just plug them right in. So what else can we do? Well, we can do the date also. We have the current time, Unix integer formats, if we refresh and paste it in, we're gonna see that the integer format of the Unix time is made into a date. So these are the kinds of things that you can do with very simple filters and they're built in and ready to use. You don't have to do anything to set them up. Very useful, but there's more that we can do with filters. So not only can you perform an operation on a string or a piece of data like this one, you can also use it to grab a subset of some sort of collection like an array. So how would we do that? Let's just set up some dummy data. So we're gonna go scope dot my data equals and we'll just say an array of people's names. So Jane, Jake, Stephen, and Hank. So an array of strings, very simple. So we're going to use a repeater, and we're going to provide the array to the repeater in the same way we're going to filter that array before spitting out all the contents. Let's set up a div with an ng repeat in it, and then we'll provide to ng repeat in the same way as before. We'll go user in my data dot array. But then instead of just leaving it here, we're gonna pipe the array through the filter. And this is actually a formal built-in filter as well. And the syntax is filter. And then the object that's going to be matched against each of the elements in the collection is provided next. So here that's my filter dot string. Let's get rid of all this. Just say user div. This should be set up properly. Let's see if it works. We can see that all four names are being printed out, which makes sense because we're not matching it to anything yet. But as we start typing, we can see that it's being matched against all the ones that match, all the ones that have a substring match. Okay, so this looks like it's working properly to me. Obviously, you can see the utility of this already. One thing that's worth mentioning though is that you're probably not going to be filtering just strings. They're going to be rich JavaScript objects that go in here that are represented by users at your database or whatever, and you want to filter against those, how would you do that? Well, that's a good question. So let's say for the sake of the argument, let's get rid of some of these, that instead of strings, we're gonna have, as I said, user objects, and they're gonna have a name and an age, 34, and Jake. Name is Jake, and age is 56. Now let's filter against these objects. So how do we do that? So we're going to be providing a search object, as I mentioned before, and we're going to format it in the same way that these are formatted. So here, my filter is the object that has to match this. We only care about the name subfield. So we're gonna do name, and then here, we're just going to pass the entire object. So my filter.name is the model which is being written to and then the entire object is passed to filter and it's gonna be matched against the name attribute in the object. Let's see if this is working. So if I refresh, we can see that the entire object is being printed out. And so if I type Jane or Jake, they both print out, but 34 will not match any, which makes sense. This is how you filter against objects in Angular. This is very powerful and very simple to set up. It can be customized in a lot of cool ways. These are just some of the built-in filters that you're going to be using a lot in Angular, and we are going to continue talking about these later on with how you create custom filters.